It is the Lazarus Pit. Damn. Uh, Joker fucked him up. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lian. I'm the coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the fifth episode of Titans. Ah, this one's called Lazarus. I guess we're getting the real backstory to what happened to Jason. I know they're taking their own liberties with the death in the family storyline and they substitute like people like Joker with Scarecrow. Razor Gold's not in this. Batman actually killed Joker. Like they're taking their own liberties, which they can, which I'm very much enjoying. So I wonder how they're going to take their own liberties with the resurrection of Jason Todd within this episode and how he built his relationship with Jonathan Crane. So I'm mad hype. Hope you guys are excited as much as I am and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Let's not waste any more time. This is the fifth episode of Titans. Oh yeah, Jason got away with Jonathan after Dick got shot. Is it the drugs? He's panicking now. So he's, he isn't really the mastermind or even equals in this group. Damn, he's getting manipulated with the drugs. Titans! Three months ago. Yes, now we get in the backstory. What is happening? It's nice to see the Robin suit though. Did he take the fear toxin or something? Is that the red hood hunting him down? What? Donna? Bruce is back. So Batman did care about Jason? The first episode made it seem like he didn't give a shit. He was recommending therapists and stuff. Who's Wally? He had a girlfriend? Work, okay? He got trauma now. Like so they childhood friends? Ho ho ho. I feel like Jason's about to fuck this dude up. I'm fucked, she's off. <laughs> Jason's attitude is amazing though. You don't know what Jason's been through. Damn. PTSD for real, for real? Damn, he's actually getting his ass beat? Damn, Jason. So that's why he started taking trucks, because he couldn't like operate pipe. anymore. Damn. She's the connecting to, to Jonathan Cray? Damn. He's rude, though. No lie. Dying. It has to be dying. Bruce's collection? Damn. The Easter eggs in this one shot. Is that the fear toxin? Yo. Batman been busy in this Gotham. He said, I'm proud of you. Look at him showing a bit of emotion after being called he's son. Up. He's actually taking this therapist thing serious. She'll lose the Robin mantle. She's diagnosing Bruce also? What is this? What did this therapist turn him into? <laughs> what has happened? Is that Bruce? What Ferrari is this? It's a nice shot though. This episode is making Bruce so empathetic and makes you think why did Jason flip the script on him and dig? What? That's why Robin was his purpose. Bruce took that away from him. Middle child problems. Is that why Bruce was on a private jet in the first episode? Ooh, he's going to Jonathan. How come allows visitors at night? Is that his toxin? The team up nobody expected. So damn. Crane really took a desperate young lad. Turned him into Red Hood. Did Molly forgive him? He's actually trying every chemical. God damn. Is this it? Oh, he got it. Three days later. Damn. So he wasn't planning to die? Was it actually part of the plan? There's no way he's alive in that. Be dragged like that. It is the Lazarus Pit. Damn. Uh, 
Joker fucked him up. Yo. Dude already controls Arkham essentially. <laughs> What's with the dancing? Does this dose control him? Damn. Damn, he's really a creation of Scarecrow in this. That looks cool as fuck, though. Damn, you're making them duel it out? Dude, moving mad different. What an interesting origin. I like it, though. Damn. Oh, I was about to say, dude. How could you he tell people when you did? But he pulls that, I'll do it myself, I'll tell them myself, stick. Is he gonna tell her everything? Or he just delivered Diego? Damn. The Red Hood voice is so great, though. What an interesting episode. They totally changed the whole origin of Jason Todd slash Red Hood. They made him somewhat of a rogue agent minion of sorts, but I feel like he will be his own like fleshed out character eventually. But for now, he's just a pawn in Scarecrow's major game. Which is interesting. It makes Jonathan Crane far more superior <laughs> in this incarnation. I'm just thinking. Yeah. I know they're gonna go deep into it, but I would have liked to see what Jason thought of Bruce killing um, Batman, because that was a big theme in the original storyline that Bruce didn't get revenge for him, but this time he did. I wonder how Jason reacted to that, and to see him do some anti-hero stuff while also killing so many people. <laughs> He's a killer, killer in this. Um, this. It's getting back up there. The previous episode, I gave it like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't that great. The Starfire thing and Blackfire-ish was not that interesting for me. But the Bad Family stuff will always be. Like, the, the previous episode was saved by the Red Hood Nightwing fight. And the and, whole oh, Jonathan Crane, Dick Grayson moments. But this one was full on Bad Family. I loved every second of it, man. Damn. Showed you everything Jason's been going through, how he was manipulated, essentially. This is like a nine, a 8.5, a 8.5, 8.5 episode. Because, like I said, I don't like him being like a minion type character, but it makes sense for the character. For the story right now but i don't like it as an overall archie so i hope he finds his way and him saving diego shows me that there is some remnants of um control in his character and also did not like the fact that uh red hood was created by jonathan crane because i like the original red hood being an homage to the person who killed him you know what I'm saying? To Joker. I think it's still a homage to Joker, but it's just a homage to Joker to be a homage to Joker here. It's not like deeper than it normally is. You feel what I'm saying? Normally it's deeper because Batman didn't kill Joker. So it's like a revenge, a fuck you to Joker. Here it's not really a fuck you to Joker. It's just like, oh, I was killed by Joker. I'm going by Joker's mantle because Jonathan Crane said so. You see what I'm saying? But still a phenomenal episode. Deuces.